Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. Now in this video, we're going to learn how to create a wall thickness using our offset tool. The offset tool is in your main toolbar again. You can click here to activate the offset tool or you can press F on your keyboard. So once you press F, it would activate the offset tool. And now you can hover over any face and it would highlight that face, which means you can offset this face. Click once. Make sure to not click and drag, simply click and release your hand from the left mouse button. And now you can give a thickness either inside or outside the box. Now if you want to give a thickness of 6 inches, you can type in 6 and then press enter. So that would give it a thickness of 6 inches outside the box. Now I would suggest that you select the face first and then press the offset tool, which is F on your keyboard. The reason being because there would be a case where there are multiple faces and if you go ahead and simply use the offset tool, you might not offset the right face. So it's a good idea to select the face using your select tool and then pressing F on your keyboard to activate the offset tool. Give a thickness of 8 inches, press enter and you are done. Again to reiterate, when you're giving the offset, make sure not to click on the measurements box on the right. Simply just give your value say 10 inches and then press enter. That's all you need to do. You do not really need to click here and then give the measurement because it doesn't work. You simply need to type in your value and SketchUp would automatically read that. So this is a quick tutorial into the offset tool. And now in the next tutorial, we'll learn more about the eraser tool and then we'll create some abstract art, 2D art on our SketchUp window. We're not going to get into 3D yet. We're still trying out the 2D modeling tools and then we'll slowly get into the 3D as well. So go ahead and practice the offset tool. It's a very simple tool to use. Also notice that I'm still in the offset tool. So make sure to get into the habit of using the select tool by pressing spacebar on your keyboard. So that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.